happening, like we said Friday, since Kai Soto has come into the lineup. And for the New Zealand Breakers, as we take a look at their starting five as well, with thanks to Champion, it's almost a, a refresher of what this starting lineup looks like because we haven't seen much of them. Well, it is, as we mentioned, Wilma Games, you might lose eligibility. Last week against Brisbane. Sold out sign is on the door today as well. Brantley to get things going for the breakers. You know what a elite defender he is, but uh, they replied his offense. And just when they look like that uh, it's going to be a defining loss for the Sixers, they came away with a huge win courtesy of this man. Great day for the break. Quite the last couple. But he's got to be one of their focal points. There's Clark Soto. He has been tremendous since being inserted into the starting lineup. Five and one, Adelaide Arce. Be an offensive foul. And when he's in that starting line, the intent on the glass is a whole lot better. Last season, nice drive by Brown. Last season, Kai Soto averaged two rebounds a game. Numbers don't necessarily show it, but as you say, it's more, in the words of Andrew Gaze, the eye test, isn't well, it? And it's the impact that he brings in terms of he alters a lot of shots with his length and athleticism. You don't often throw him the ball and say, go to get a bucket one on one back to the basket like you would at Daniel Johnson in that role. He's a lob threat and he can protect the rim, so that's what he's out there for. And then you bring Daniel Johnson in, who's just going to be ultra aggressive off the bench. Have a crombie. Good. That is nothing but fresh South Entertainment Centre. Franks. Pete said, couldn't work his way into the first half. That's a pretty good tentative, and that'll help his confidence as well. Brown Jr. gave up his three. He likes that floater. This is with 2 minutes 56 left on the clock. And Clark hit a three. And there's Kai Soto. He finished the, food. the contact. So he hit a three here, Clark. And they ran it off. 14 points. Very convincing up until that point. But a win's a win. Just point of the season. My word. I think they're just a team still trying to figure themselves out a little bit. The ice a bit of a nudge. Certainly been one of the hottest teams in the competition. Let's pass Liafa. Really a little hesitant. Flat tire, grimacing on in pain. Barrick Brown creates scoring opportunities primarily for himself. Soto, size advantage over Abercrombie. Couple of early buckets for the big man. Take it back. Throw the ball to him, let him go to work. It's good class, Soto. Drew, I think you mentioned it on Friday. You mentioned how deep they are and how talented their roster is. Some interesting I works think. well in certain moments. This time, Brantley pulls the trigger. Oh, that's a wild one. Crombie with the offensive rebound. He's got jumper to go. Goal attempts on Friday night. Uh, Copeland in commentary wants him to shoot the ball more. Franks. Isolates out for Crombie, who such a good defender. Forced him to give that up. There's McCarran off the front of the iron. Drimmick kept it alive. Here's Soto. As well, just need a little bit more of a distraction. That time when you are standing around there, see the breakers record on the road. You go a long way in this competition if you can win games on the road. Nice touch from Cleveland, levels it up. Good start, five points. Arthur, oh, he's back. Shovel that out to Brown. Brantley, shot clock at three. Win it back for the breakers. Brown foul. It's count. It goes. Yeah, and then we might sort of see something else going on, but it's by design, and he does it really well. And you don't want to take that away from him. That's uh, a bit of a takes one to no one. Oh, right, Brown. Have to repair. Little layup to get the Frenchman going. They tie it away at the Adelaide Entertainment Centre. Adelaide Daniel Johnson. Throw the keys to him a little bit more and have him as a 30 to 35 minute type guy that's uh, going to be putting up. I guess that, that's what has to unfold over the next couple of weeks. Here is Will McDowell White. Puts the ball on the floor. Nice kick out for the Danovich. But an offensive foul before that. Let's get down to John Case. Actually missed two games in total. But he has in both games as well as double figure points. He is the key for New Zealand, no doubt. So Drew, you're probably the best one to, to answer that. And as we mentioned, he doesn't take a whole lot of shots. He likes to set up the offense. 
because it's not only that, it's just catching the ball. Hard passes are coming, you catch that ball and it can be a little difficult. Oh, they storm their way into fourth position on the back of five of their last six and the New Zealand Breakers have been top two pretty much all season long on the back of plays like that. And that's what I'm talking about, how it feels and looks. Clark lays it up. Back to one again. Still the Cup Cairns in South East Melbourne from the Cairns Convention Centre. Derek Hart. Repair. And there you see the respect they have. It's a, a play that they run a little Clock at nine, McCarran. Hand off to Sunday Ditch, who probably had more time and space than what he realised. Reset. Sunday Ditch drives Lealfa, got a piece of that. Three on the clock, Ditch has to fire it up. The breakers once again. Trick gets used, but it's still a pretty important one. McDowell White, nice finish off the glass. He's getting exposed in the defensive transition, but Drimmick just bullets his way to the basket. Throws it off to Browning. Oh, across the face from Ian Clark. They're all up and in on Brown at the moment. That time, basket won't count. Offensive to Forrest. The Arthur buries it. Set up by Barry Brown Jr. for Anthony Drimmick. Top seven in the competition in that stat. And Adelaide turn it over. Which really tells a lot of the story for them in the opening quarter. The team can be on the defensive end. New Zealand after that big layoff, as we see a turnover here. And laid out in transition. It's going to be the easiest way to score against the Breakers off a turnover. They lost the course of 40 minutes against New Zealand. Harry Brown, the leading scorer in the game. He's got 10. Got low in. Late in the first quarter. Oh, Franks. Drives! Yes. It goes! Got the attention. Terrell Brantley. No question about that. When he loves playing against the 36ers as well, averaging almost 20 and 10 in the two games against the 36ers. A one-on-one -on -one contest, well that's what they're trying to do. Four rebounds as well in the opening quarter, but was stripped by Brantley. And Adelaide gave up on the play, which meant that New Zealand had the outnumber and depth. Soto from the elbow. Stepped into that jumper. Fourth in the competition in blocks. Glidden for three. The Breakers have come out firing in this second quarter. Yeah, and I know he's only been there a short period of time, but what is it is when the fans are pegging it out? They're still pegging it out. What does that mean? He said packing it out. Oh, packing it. <laughs> Karen. Scored in the game so far. Frank's down low. That's tough over the top. Second time around, one of the foul. Good enough to put it back in. Oh, to go with eight points. That looked a lot better than just letting him bring it up or throwing it straight into him and trying to go against Jarrell Brantley, who answers straight back. And that's his second bucket in the exact same fashion. Penalises him. Here's CJ Bruton. He's not happy with the physicality. New Zealand is showing defensively. Cleveland fixes that and just drains a three over the top. Playing on Robert Franks. CJ Bruton is barking away. Abercrombie, nice hit from the elbow. In history, he hasn't tried to tip in. Here he goes again. Foul! It goes! The break is a fight.